welcome here we are going to understand the concept of range extension in analog meters now, why this is so important because suppose you have made an ammeter of maximum current carrying capacity of 10 ampere or measuring capacity and you have made a voltmeter of maximum voltage measuring capacity of 10 volt now you have to use both of these instruments to a circuit when the current is suppose 50 ampere and voltage level is 200 volt what will you do do you go for to bring a separate ammeter voltmeter is it possible absolutely not that's why we need to use this 10 ampere or 10 volt ammeter and voltmeter to be capable of measuring 50 ampere current as well as 200 volt voltage that's why range extension is so important another drawback is when we try to manufacture any instrument of high current or voltage measuring capability then automatically we have to use wires which has higher cross-sectional area that means a thicker wire so if the wire is thicker it will make the coil size more bigger so it is usually not economical to use these thick wires as well as whenever you try to mount it in any instrument or any system then due to its heavy or very big size there is much more problems in mounting this kind of big instruments so range extension is very important for our using perspective now let us understand the entire concept with a problem solving so that we can understand it more clearly a moving coil instrument has a resistance of 10 ohm and gives full scale deflection of 10 millivolt so how the instrument may be used to measure a voltage up to 100 volt and a current up to 10 ampere so we have some informations from this question that there is a PMMC instrument which has internal resistance of 10 ohm and capable of measuring a voltage up to 10 millivolt this is the highest capac measuring capacity of that particular voltmeter or the instrument now we have to increase this 10 millivolt to 100 volt measuring capacity and whenever there is 10 millivolt measuring capacity of the existing instrument the current that can pass through this PMMC instrument is 10 to the power minus 3 ampere or 1 milliampere so we have to increase this 1 milliampere range to 10 ampere range now if you want to know the connection system or procedure 
of a PMMC instrument to a particular circuit then please watch the video that I have created on construction and working of PMMC instrument there you will find the detailed explanation of how it is connected in the system now if our voltmeter has internal resistance of 10 ohm that means suppose this is the voltmeter and as the internal resistance is in series so we are showing it like this so this is 10 ohm a current of is passing along the voltmeter is 1 milliampere so now we have to increase this range to 100 volt so what we need to do now we have to connect another resistance in series with the voltmeter that is called RAC and this resistance is called multiplier resistance now here comes the calculation part what is our total voltage to be measured it is 100 volt so 100 volt or better to first write it V is equal to I R V plus R S E where R V is the voltmeter internal resistance that is 10 ohm and R S E is the multiplier resistance so from here we can write our required voltage to be measured is 100 volt I as I have calculated earlier 10 to the power minus 3 ampere or 1 milliampere RV is equal to your 10 ohm plus RAC we don't know from here we are getting 100 10 plus RAC is equal to 100 into 10 to the power 3 so RAC is equal to this so it is trip, uh, 9990 ohm or 99.99 kilo ohm so we have to connect here 99.99 kilo ohm as a multiplier resistance along with the voltmeter circuit in series in order to measure this 100 volt voltage clear okay now moving into the ammeter part or current measurement part now when the instrument is going to be used as an ammeter then we have to connect a shunt resistance this is the shunt resistance in parallel with the ammeter this is the ammeter and its internal resistance that is RM connected in series with the ammeter so we have to connect a resistance in parallel in order to increase the range of ammeter so now your question will be why what is the reason of it see if we are connecting a resistance RSH with RM then the voltage across this node will be same what is the property of current it always tries to travel a path of less resistance so what is our objective here we have to flow 10 ampere total current that means the incoming current 
to the ammeter is 10 ampere that is I let's assume this RM has the capability to flow only through it 1 milliampere and rest of the current that is 10 minus 1 milliampere has to flow through this shunt resistance this is ish so if we try to flow a high current through this shunt resistance then its resistance should be very small one thing you need to consider that whenever you are making a connection like this then the entire arrangement is ammeter that means this shunt resistance RSH is inside the ammeter I personally seen this connection when I have opened an ammeter there is a connection like if this is RM then a thick wire like this was connected with the ammeter whose resistance is RSH and that is very low as it is very thick in this particular fashion and literally it, it was like this so that the maximum amount of current that is 10 minus 1 milliampere can flow through this bypass path and if you ask me why this is thick because as we know r equal to rho l by a so more the cross section higher of any current carrying conductor its resistance is lesser as the relation is inversely proportional to each other now coming back into the problem so if we apply a KCL at this particular node then we find I is equal to I M plus I S H what is our objective our objective is to determine the value of R S H and the voltage across this branch is equal to this branch so we can write this is equation number one I M R M is equal to I S H R S H so we know the value of I M we know the value of R M we know the value of I S H what is I S H ISH is equal to I minus IM that is 10 minus 1 milliampere so let us put these values in this equation number 2 ISH RSH is equal to IM RM divided by ISH that is equal to value of IM is 10 to the power minus 3 value of rm 10 ohm and ish is equal to 10 minus 0 0.001 that is equal to 1.0001 into 10 to the power minus 3 ohm or 1.0001 milli Ohm. This particular value of resistance has to be connected as RSH in parallel with the ammeter like this so that we can attain the value of 10 ampere measurement capability of the ammeter. Another thing that I have to mention here is multiplying power and multiplying factor or multiplier multiplying power means 
in case of ammeter if a total current that ammeter after extending the range is equal to i and before extending the range is equal to i m then multiplying power that is m or small m is equal to i by i m that is how many times the ammeter is capable of measuring current after inclusion of shunt resistance RSH and multiplier or multiplying factor is if voltmeter voltage measuring capability before range extension is equal to Vm and after range extension equal to V that we have already seen in our problem then your multiplying factor or multiplier M is equal to V by Vm that means that the number of times the voltmeter is capable of measuring voltage after inclusion of series resistance R A C. Now before conclusion let me ask you a question if we want to measure power using PMMC instrument then do we need to use to different ammeter or voltmeter or a single PMMC instrument can measure the power of the system because we know power is equal to voltage into current so we need both to determine the power so for that for voltage you are using a PMMC instrument as voltmeter and for current you are using another ammeter or you can make a single PMMC instrument or use single PMMC instrument and get the power out of it mention in the comment section below and if, if you have any doubt regarding this topic then you can also mention there thank you